Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the ring, Milan Czech Fella! Well, no sooner has the main event subsided, the next contest is underway. Milan Czech making his third outing as a pro, first on British soil. He made his first two appearances in Slovakia and Denmark, respectively. Won his first outing by TKO over Juraj Lakatos, a fellow Slovak. He's got a Muay Thai background and a number of contests in Bratislava, so no doubt he's tough, but it's going to need to be the calibre of puncher that he's facing this evening. Well, we saw a pretty stellar performance from Chris Congo earlier on this evening and another man from Miguel's who made a successful debut in this very hall and is uh, Richard Riakport. Stoppage victory over Jason Jones. And he's your cousin as well, Joshua, he's as you my mentioned. Cousin and an amateur stable mate when I was uh, at the Lynn. So I've seen how this guy trains. Speaking to Isaac Chamberlain yesterday about this man, and he says, what a big puncher he is. Joshua Boazzi echoed those words too. The light heavyweight Olympic bronze medalist from Rio. Very tall for cruiserweight, six foot five, Richard Riatport. In terrific shape as well. Chech Valet and Richard Riakport, 7 0 as a professional. Looking to extend his run. Chech Valet was due to face Kennedy Katendi on the undercard of Otto Wolf's WBA <laughs> Continental Clash. He was generally commander in Sweden last month. Katendi, of course, beaten at the Rio Olympics by. Joshua Boazzi, who, as I just mentioned, has sparred before with Reactport, spoke of the heavy handedness with which he hits. Isaac Chamberlain said a very similar thing. He said, You've got to stick it on him in sparring because if he uh, gets a foothold, he said he really can bang with both hands. I could definitely agree with that. I've been in there with him. And uh, family or not, he doesn't take it easy on me <laughs> if he gets an opportunity. He's got a good jab, a straight jab. Just miss with a hook there. Just feel that he's got the kind of power that could just turn the lights out with one opportunity. Stretch Fowler holds on. Nice jab he's flicking out there, just keeping his opponent at range and just looking for an opportunity. amazing what can happen to a game plan when suddenly you get hit with one of the hardest jabs you've ever felt isn't it just uh, completely changed the complexion of a contest and I'm sure that Church Valor whilst Brett Poor hasn't landed anything hugely conclusive so far he would have felt a few of those shots through the gloves and thought wow don't want to be caught with anything too clean from this chap and <laughs> well, he's keeping his guard nice and high so he's he obviously doesn't like what's coming 
Throughout Paul just taking his time. It's a good stable down at Miguel's. Oh, yeah, very good. Good sparring there as well. You've got a, a nice mixture of styles. And some uh, good athletes there. And there is the power that we spoke of. Didn't take long, did it? Czech Valor goes down like a sack of spuds. And Riyadpour waits patiently in the neutral corner. Look at the expression on the face of Czech Valor. He wants nothing more to do with this man. And Riyadpour marches forwards in this impressive cruiserweight division. And I don't think it will be too long before people nationally start to hear his name. Oh, most definitely. Most definitely. Sheer power there. And it was only a matter of time. Some big names in that cruiserweight category, of course. At the top of the tree. The Tony de Bon Mabelli currently holding the WBC Cruiserweight Championship of the World. But the top ten of those guys are one or two names. Well, I'm sure already Riyadpour will be looking at and thinking, yeah, I fancy a crack at that. And, uh, well, if he continues in this vein, continues learning with that natural power and his size, he could be a real force in this division Most in the next definitely. 18 months. Most definitely. Uh, Chich Fowler started reasonably well, but I think... Ladies and gentlemen, please show your appreciation for both boxers. Really, the writing was on the wall early. After two minutes and 15 seconds of round one, the referee in charge has spotted the contest. He came with that Chich Fowler in no position to continue. Their winner in the red corner from Maastricht. He does love his salsa. Please have an appreciation for the Last time we spoke, you told me you were hungry. Well, you fought that fight like there was the last loaf of bread in his head and you wanted to crack it open to get it out. You know what? Like, I was quite nervous coming into this one. You know, I was just, it was a, it was a basic customer and I just thought, you know, I need to keep this really simple, use my jab and work off that. And I listened to my corner and the shot came, as I said. I just need to land that shot. Once I land, then we'll see if he reacts well or not. Certainly did. Yeah. That's three KOs in a row now, four yeah. and oh. What's next? I'm ready to do whatever. Like, take on whoever, whenever, I don't mind. Because as an amateur, we never used to know about the opponents we were coming, coming up against. Some of them had experience. Some of them had, like, like triple the experience as I did. And I still put them away. So just need to carry on training. I should be out in July. Some big news coming soon but I don't want to um, announce a, anything at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> so we're just working, that's it. Well, well, we're looking forward to that so the next time we see you. Yeah, Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you very, very much. Impressive yes. win. Appreciate Cheers. It.